time no see. It's been way too long since I've seen you. How's your family doing? Anything new going on? Emily, it's so good to see you. I miss chatting with you in person. My family's doing okay. We had some tough changes because of the pandemic, but it's so nice to see you. I'm sorry to hear that. What kind of changes are you talking about? Well, my husband lost his job because of the pandemic, but he has an interview today, so I had to walk here. That's some good news. I hope you didn't have to walk too far. If I had known, we could have met closer to your place. That's okay. I've done a lot of walking this year. I walk to the grocery store almost every day. Plus, I really like this neighborhood. There's a lot of truck traffic near my house, so it's kind of noisy and dirty, but it's so nice and peaceful here. Wow, I didn't know you had to deal with so much smog. Why doesn't the city do anything about it? I'm not even sure who I would talk to. Besides, what can they do? It's not like they can close all these businesses and make the trucks go away. The whole city can't be made up of parks and grocery stores. Well, that's partially true. Who are you, and what's partially true? I'm James, and I know just about everything that goes on in this city. Although the city won't force businesses to move out, they're working on a new EJE to help residents who might be affected by these types of problems. What's EJE? Is that like a new boy band or something? Haha, <laughs> no, it's the city's new environmental justice element. You see, the city is updating its general plan, which is a long-range planning document that will guide the city for the next couple of decades. It's made up of seven different elements, or chapters, to you and me. The EJE will be the eighth element and will address social inequalities within the city to make sure all Monrovians have access to parks and grocery stores. It's also supposed to help things like air and water pollution. So does that mean the city is going to make residents move into more expensive neighborhoods? Yeah, I mean, we all have to deal with some traffic and noise. There always seems to be a line of cars driving by when I walk from my house to the park. True. However, the EJE is a little different than that. The city isn't making residents or businesses move, even though we all have to deal with some problems. Certain neighborhoods seem to bear the brunt of it. Why don't I have some of the city planners describe environmental justice to you? This is Brenda and Vincent. They are just some of the many talented employees from the city of Monrovia. Thanks, James. The EJE is a new way of thinking about how to keep Monrovians safe and healthy. Environmental justice policies are created to allow all people to have equal protection from environmental hazards where they live, work, and play. The state has identified communities in and around Monrovia most affected by economic, health, and environmental burdens. These burdens can be increased exposure to traffic and pollution, hazardous waste, or limited access to services like education, healthcare, parks, and fresh food. The goal of the environmental justice element is to ensure that all residences are protected from environmental and health hazards and have an opportunity to participate in the decision-making process. It's important that all residences have the chance to make their voices heard. Las políticas y leyes de justicia ambiental se creen para permitir que todas las personas tengan la misma protección contra los riesgos ambientales en el lugar donde viven. El estado ha identificado las comunidades de Monrovia y sus alrededores más afectadas por las cargas económicas, sanitarias y medioambientales. Estas cargas pueden ser una mayor exposición al tráfico y la contaminación, desechos peligrosos o acceso limitado a servicios como educación, atención médica, parques y alimentos frescos. El objetivo del elemento de justicia ambiental es garantizar que todos los residentes tengan la misma cantidad de protección contra los peligros ambientales y de salud y tengan la oportunidad de participar en el proceso de tomar decisiones. Wow, I didn't realize there were people in Monrovia who lived with such difficulties. Is there something we can do to make sure all Monrovians have a nice place to live? Yes, of course. The entire community can help. Monrovia is a great place to live. After all, we are the gem of the foothills. But there are areas that are more affected by pollution and hazardous conditions than others. The new EJE is meant to address these inequalities and allow people who live in these communities to have a greater say on decisions that might affect them. So how can we participate? That's a great question. Right now, there are two ways residents can participate. They can either take a quick online survey, which you can find here, right there, or 
They can join an upcoming neighborhood workshop on Thursday, April 29th at 6 o'clock p.m. using Zoom. En este momento, los residentes pueden participar de dos formas. Pueden realizar una encuesta rápida en línea en www.survey.com o pueden unirse a un próximo taller en el vecindario el jueves 29 de abril a las 6 y punto de la tarde usando Zoom.